Black Wall Street was the most successful Black-owned business district in the early 1900s. It's amazing when you think about the types of businesses that they had in the Greenwood District. By 1921, there were several hotels, movie theaters, restaurants, there were schools, a hospital, a library, the list goes on and on. There's so much more to this than just the race massacre. Greenwood was a vibrant, beautiful, prospering community of all African Americans. Our guiding quote has been a quote by James Baldwin, um, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. We just need to have some obstacles removed as it relates to education, as it relates to access to health care as it relates to representation across all of our city and our companies and corporations. And to me, if given that path, success is inevitable. Business is thriving on Greenwood each and every day. There's a resurgence for wanting to understand our history. People are awake. And I think that is a demonstration of resilience. It's just not enough to be, a, be for someone. Um, it's about being with someone. Because when you're for someone, you're, you're really cheering them on, but when you're with someone, it's about lifting their load. And that's what our contribution to this area is about. This funding will go to repair and renovate the Black Wall Street Memorial. People from all over the nation come to visit the Greenwood Cultural Center, and the memorial is the first place they stop. It actually chronicles the, the businesses lost during the 1921 race massacre. That monument has become the centerpiece for Tulsa's Black historic Greenwood District. We're going to be able to present it the way it should be presented. Urban Code is Good is a Tulsa-based nonprofit. Our mission and our vision is to provide STEM education opportunities for the underserved and underrepresented communities here in Tulsa. Our program is it's about creating pathways. When I think about Urban Code is Good, I think about the access that we're providing, a whole ecosystem of black and brown folks, of young women. So the community of investments that are taking place and that will continue to grow means that there is an acknowledgement uh, that this area was once the economic pillar for African Americans and their achievement. The, the human spirit of resilience, this community was destroyed and this community rebuilt itself. That is a powerful story. I don't care what walk of life you come from, that is incredibly inspirational. It's just a great example of what things can be when people collaborate and work together and come together in unity. We have to really know that our, our success is tied together with each other. And so other communities, the more and the faster that they learn that, the faster that we'll all get to where we're trying to go. What will begin here, we were gonna look back years from now and say something began to change in the United States in terms of race relations and how we get along with each other. And I do believe people are gonna say, it started in this place in Tulsa called Greenwood at this museum that started permeating out from there. Greenwood itself will be considered ground zero for race relations in Tulsa, in the state of Oklahoma, and ground zero for the country as it relates to race relations.